Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears, starring the Dragon Slaying Slacker! Yeah, the first name there, it was fairly evenly distributed, although Dragon Slaying did get better than the other names for the votes, but, like, Slacker just annihilated every other choice in the voting there, so thanks for your contribution, that's what we're gonna be doing. I guess that means Faye isn't really good at slaying dragons, huh? We don't really fight that many dragons in this game, but I suppose it makes sense since we're, you know, using giant robots and all that. But let's see what everyone else is doing around here. So today we're going to be well, taking a look at what else is going on around the town other than, you know, what we need to do in order to actually progress with Plot. And there's a mini game that I would like to show. Well, Faye's in his prime. And he's got the training. Just hope no one knows how to do a Kamehameha wave like me. Holy cow! Oh, yeah, I was like, where am I? This didn't look like the map I came out of. Now, uh, game? Okay, good. For a second there, I thought I passed up the square there on the way back, but... Okay, so we've got everything put together there, as far as the tournament goes, and we got the well key, and all that stuff. You know, let me... Well, yeah, let's just go like this. Now, you can actually go through, like, the north exit if you wanted to go to the south exit from here if you wanted to. Like on the little world map they have for the town. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hey, how's it going? Keep an eye on that kid to the left there. Oh, yeah, I've already been there. Dude. Well, what's going on? Well, check all his pockets. That's... Hmm. Maybe we should check after them. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's see. If we go up here where we found the hide-and-seek kid, we got these two kids here. How's it going? Sure, why not? Sure, I'll just give a thousand gold to a random stranger. A kid at that. But actually, if you do this, this will unlock a little shop later in, way later in the game. Not that any of the stuff is worth it, but, well, I'll pr probably show it off there when I get to that point. Well, let's see what we got going inside around the village. Oh, let's see. We've already... Yeah, we've already been here. We used this to get up to the top of the hotel going in that way the first time. Let's see. I think there's a restaurant here. Something like that. Yeah, this is it. Um. Yeah, that's a good way to go. Revenge! That's the lesson for the kids. Um, well, yeah, that's why we pay our taxes. One of many reasons. That's... So, do you sell anything? No. No, that wouldn't be me. Not really from anywhere, I guess. Well, I suppose Bart is from here, but yeah. Hmm, really? Eh, yeah, those are just vicious rumors. I wouldn't worry about it. Ha ha. Now let's see. You see in that little fish tank there, there's a chest there. But we can't get to it from here. Remember that for later, viewers. I thought there was an NPC around here that would tell you how to get that chest in there. 
I could be wrong on that. I mean, I know how to get it, but I thought there was, like, someone who, I think if you, like, paid them or something, or gave them something, they would tell you how to get that chest in there, but, yeah, we can't get to that from here. Oh, they got, like, nice little, uh, tables out here, too. Well, let's see what else we got around here. Okay, this is the upstairs of that house down there. Okay, let's see what some of the vendors around here got. Okay, so we already talked to the one who got choplifted. Okay, how's it going? Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know that there is a point to buying them, so I'm not gonna. Oh, well, I don't want to be a soldier. Now, uh, this vendor here will buy some of that trash loot that I was talking about before. Let me see how much we got. Because you can only exchange them, like, one at a time, I think. Okay, we've got four eyeballs. Do I have any fangs? No. No, just the eyeballs. Okay. Now, I do have some scales there as well. But let's see. Let's start with the eyeballs there. This, to my knowledge, this is the best price in the game that you can get on eyeballs. So you might as well just exchange them now. But the thing is, is that there's other shops later in the game who can also give you money for trash loot. And sometimes they'll give a better price. In this case, eyeballs are the best here. Scales, on the other hand, though are better saved until later in the game, because they will pay a lot more money for them. If you have fangs, you would exchange them here too. That's the best price you can get on them in the game, to my knowledge. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I should probably get around to cleaning up my inventory one of these days. Can we actually go into these houses? Yes, we can! Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Okay. I was about to say nothing, but... Okay, what does this one sell? Oh, okay. Just items. Yeah, we got items for curing status ailments. Zeta saws will be useful eventually. But usually I just mostly hold on to aqua saws and omega saws. Unless there's like a boss that has some instant death. In which case, you would need the Zeta Sauls. Though I think any boss that actually has instant death, other than, like, scripted fights, I think they only use their instant death, like, a limited number of times or something. Let's see if it... Yeah, we've got an armor shop here. Let's check it out. Well, I've already got all this stuff, and we're going to get better headgear in a little bit there, so I wouldn't worry about that. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just clean up my inventory off screen later. But let's see. As far as the body armor goes, we've got better. And even if we didn't, uh, we could, we're could. we going to get some more in the near future anyway. So don't worry about it. Let's see. Hey, how's it going? Do you sell anything here? Oh. Well, I suppose there's worse things to collect. What's going on? Seriously, I have no idea what's going on. I haven't talked to the NPCs in a while. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm sure the cat understood that. Well, you're... Yeah, you're the human for them now. And they got cats everywhere in this place. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Nothing! At least I don't think we can go into any of these places. Okay. 
Let's see, I know there's a weapon shop around here. Hey, okay. how's it going? Oh, for a second there, I thought you were the old guy that gave me the key earlier. Or whatever was going on with that. Dude? Oh, well, good for him. <laughs> if he's still alive. Oh, so... Oh, that's... Well... Yeah, it sucks, I guess. Anyone around here? Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, probably. Oh! I didn't know these houses all connected to each other like that. I didn't even see that door there. Hey, how's it going? Well, I only have one character who can actually use weapons. So I can't imagine you could sell that much. Let's see, yeah, we can get a little bit of an upgrade for Bart there, but we're going to find a new whip in the very near future, so I wouldn't worry about it. And, yeah, we have no one who can use rods. Yeah, that is one thing that's kind of odd about this game. It has a large number of characters who just don't have weapons. I mean, some of them make sense, but others are like, wait, what? It, it's almost like they forgot to give characters weapons or something. <laughs> well, what do you sell here? Anything? Um, well, yeah. Someone's got to defend the country. Oh, um, no, I don't need those. There's a lot of stuff you could buy here that I would think would be useless like that. So, yeah, I wouldn't bother with any of that stuff. Can I talk to the merchant there? Or I don't know if I can get around to talk to her. The price of what? Well, you could double the price and then give them half off the oldest trick in the book. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Now we are. Oh, no, I don't need your radishes. What do you mean, Lahan radishes? There aren't any more. Not anymore. Okay, let's see. I already went into that house. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Well, we got the gear shop here. Let's see what we got. Not that I'm going to buy anything here, but let's see. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, let's see. These are the magnetic coats that I was talking about. They raise your response by 25. That's pretty huge. And let's see. Let's see. Response circuits boosted by 20. And they cost a bit less. And they also weigh a lot less, too. One thing about gear parts that'll become more important later in the game is that each gear has a weight capacity to it, but they don't tell you that exactly in-game. The only way you can tell is that if you exceed your weight capacity, you start losing weight. Or not weight, uh, you start losing agility. That you can see in-game. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I'll go over that in more detail later when it becomes relevant. Right now, all the stuff we got is pretty light. So what do they got here? Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen that one before. 
I was expecting, like, some dialogue or something, but... Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty big hanger you got there. Okay, well, I think that's just about everything we can do around the town now, so... Yeah, let's just go to the hotel right through the front door. I wonder if anything's in here. Hey, how's it going? Hope you don't mind me breaking into your hotel room like this. Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose they would. Ha ha. Let's see, how are we doing on... Okay, yeah, we're all at full. I don't need to rest up at the hotel, use the discount that the guy gave to me. So now, I mean, once you've gotten the key and you've entered or registered Faye in the tournament, all you gotta do is come back here and we can progress with the plot a little bit. But I guess I didn't find that kid who could tell me about the fish tank there, whoever tells me about how to get that. If you know where to find that NPC, let me know, but there's probably one that I missed or skipped over or something. But, yeah, there are a lot of NPCs. There's actually a few entrances you can use to get into the underground waterway. But I will choose the closest one to the hotel because that'll let me get more treasure more efficiently. There's some treasure we can get down there. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, most of the uh, battles in the tournament are pretty easy. Sounds good to me. So yeah, if you were if you were to try and play some of the mini games now, or not now, uh, before, uh, I, f I forget who would have said something, but someone like Sitan, I think would have said, hey, you can't be screwing around like this right now. We're supposed to be gathering information. Or something like that, or whatever. But now that we've taken care of all that, we can play some of the mini games. And there's only one that I'm particularly interested in. Is there anything behind this door? Well, of course, there's something there. Oh, okay. No, there isn't. Nothing. Okay, so now I want to get back to Shikan Square to play one of those mini games because we can get some pretty good pieces of headgear there. The mini games are not extraordinarily difficult, but they can be a little annoying. Okay, where are we? Okay, this is on the east side? No. No, it's on the west side. I must have gone in the other entrance on the map there. Okay, so yeah, let's go in here. And this guy is the guy for the mini games here. So let's see. What we got to do here is... Well, they'll explain the rules in just a moment. I don't know that it matters who plays. So basically, we got this cylinder here that's going to be spinning around and spitting out balloons. And depending on which color balloons you collect, you will uh, get different points. The only trouble is, is that, yeah, there's white balloons that kill your point total there. Even if you don't have more than zero points, it'll still count against you. So don't assume that because you touched the white balloon early that you're going to be okay later on. No, no, it doesn't work that way. You do not want to touch the white balloons there. But I do want to touch the red balloons. So what I like to do is hang out like right about here or so. And red balloons tend to come out of this hole here. So that makes it pretty easy to grab them. Now I also like to... Uh, try to stay in place here because if I move around too much, I'll have a hard time 
getting the red balloons when they actually do show up. So, yeah, just be careful. Play it conservatively. Don't run into a red balloon if you don't have to. But yeah, collecting the red balloons would be a pretty high priority, but if you got a balloon that's like right next to a white balloon, like that one right there, with the blue balloon there, yeah, don't don't press your luck. Whoa, almost ran into that thing. Yeah, I can't get that red balloon right next to the white balloon like that. I mean, I could try, but it wouldn't be a good idea. So, oh, damn it. Oh, I missed a red balloon, too. Well, let's see how we did. Hey, hey, all right, I still had enough. So if you get over a thousand points, you get an iron helmet there. And that is a piece of headgear. It's a male exclusive headgear. And I want to get two of them. Uh, I want to have one for Faye and one for Bart later on. So I'm going to collect one more of them off screen and then hit the sack back at the... Well, actually, no, something happens after this, so uh, I'll just take a moment to win the next Iron Helmet, and I'll be right back. Okay, got the second Iron Helmet there, so let's see, to get out of here, yeah, just select yes, talk to that guy, and get out of here. By the way, there is a difficulty mode that you can set for that minigame, and I don't think it matters. <laughs> I mean, it may, I would imagine it would make the game more difficult, but I don't think the prizes change depending on what difficulty mode it's in, so why make it harder on yourself than it has to be? Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, burnt to a crisp. I, I think he's the guy that the little girl who was on the roof of the bar was talking about earlier. Nuts. Well, you gonna fess up there, Faye? No, I guess not. Eh, you'll probably just get yourself in more trouble than you're already in. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well... That was pointless. But, alright. Okay, so we got that new uh, piece of headgear. Let's give one of those to Faye. And that'll help him out quite a bit. It's a lot stronger than the leather hat there. Yeah, pr pretty big difference there. Alright! But can Faye do well in the first rounds of the tournament? Find out next time on Let's Play Zeno Gears. This is Lee Chi Bailey signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>